Welcome to the vlog, welcome to my new office. Um, I, you're only going to see this little bit, you'll see it now, because the rest of it's a mess. Um, I haven't done any sound deadening, I might have a little bit of echo, so I do apologise for that. Uh, some of you may recognise this office from the uh, OPG Outdoor Photography Guide live critiques that we do once a month. If you haven't, where have you been? Head to their Facebook group and um, all the details will be on there. You're going to watch our previous critiques and look for our next date. Um, yeah, they're going really well and it would be great if you could come along. Uh, even if you don't upload an image for us to critique, um, you can just come along and just join in the comments. Uh, it's really going really well, but we could do with some more people. Um, more people is always better. More images to, to critique is always better. Um, but yeah, so head over to OPG and hashtag OPG critique to get your image looked at by myself, Paul Thompson and Matt Bishop. But, this video, uh, this is part two to Scotland. Um, it's a slightly shorter vlog. Uh, the weather wasn't great in parts, but was in other parts. So I won't say too much. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll probably jump back in to the office afterwards and just do a little debrief about the trip. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Right, what's up YouTubers? Welcome to Glen Afric. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I've uh, pronounced that right. That's an easy one to say, isn't it? Yeah. Glen Afric. Yeah, you can't get that one on there, <laughs> no. uh, And we're on our way to a viewpoint. Um, it's about an hour's walk, we reckon, don't we? Yeah, somewhere. So an hour there and back. Uh, Adam is... Oh, you can't see, but somewhere down there, the car park. Adam's not very well, so Adam's going to sit this one out and have a... He said asleep, but I guarantee you he's tucking in. As soon as we heard us walk up the path, he's tucking into that coffee and biscuits. No, I don't think he will be. <laughs> Not just by the state of <laughs> Yeah, so we're heading off to um, the viewpoint now uh, to have a look down the valley. And hopefully, there is some blue sky. Hopefully, we're going to get some more fleeting light um, as opposed to uh, misery and rain. Um, <laughs> but luckily, I've I say luckily, I've only been here, well, not even two days, so uh, these two have been here for weeks, getting hammered on, so Paul really needs a little lift, mate, don't you? I do. I'm sick of rain, like I have to say. <laughs> Completely <laughs> sick of rain. <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's gone in, in his ear and... Anyway, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, we'll get some views at the top, uh, and the walk ain't too mental. See you in a bit. Mind you, I'm Harrison Lewis, I was wearing five coats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no more, it was close to 200 gig. Really? <clears throat> Whether any of it's any good or not, it's a different matter, but... <laughs> Right. 
So as you can see, Paul is flying his drone and I'll just reduce the exposure you can see, so you can see. Look at that. What a viewpoint this is. It is stunning to say the least. Uh, finally we get some epic light, uh, some fleeting light in and out. It is very windy, um, so I ain't got a pair of gloves yet, but uh, <laughs> we're wrapping up nice and warm. Um, and because we've got some nice light, we should be able to get them shut speeds up a little bit higher, especially while using the long lens. So we won't have any issues. Uh, we get nice sharp shots. Yeah. <laughs> the drone is right above my head. Cheers, Paul Compton. Thanks. Hey? Cheers, Paul Compton. Thanks. <laughs> uh, little joke, Paul will love you. Um, yeah. Just smiles all around, really. Smiles all around. So let's uh, let's see if we can get serious. Let's see if we can get some telephoto shots. Yes. Right, so the long lens is on, and it's all about just picking out, for me, it's all about picking out little little snippets, um, because Paul shot, Paul shot more of a wider shot, still using the long lens, but he's taking more of a whole scene in. And I'm finding this tree is a scotch pine down, and it's sort of right in the way. <laughs> Don't chop it down, yeah. Tom! <laughs> well, no, we can't, because we're members of nature first. I, uh... <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> Uh, I'm not being picky, but um, I think I'm going to try and pick out little little vignettes with the long lens. I've got the teleconverter on as well, um, just to help me out get an extra bit of reach. So I'm around so two times, so I'm around uh, 140 to 400, uh, depending on where I am, obviously, in that range. Uh, but yeah, that's my parameters, and I'm trying to pick out little bits of light, because the light is fleeting in and out, and you can see the weather coming in on the horizon which is pretty pretty sick so I am struggling a little bit but I'm going to take my time I'm not going to rush it um, and I'm not going to get myself in a mess uh, because the pressure is on a little bit to get <laughs> a shot <laughs> uh, but yeah what, a, what an amazing viewpoint um, I can't feel my feet Tom I'd say my fingers are, my fingers <laughs> are numb but uh, <laughs> yeah what else can I was going to say if I take anything, which I will do, uh, stick around to the end because I will be putting them up. But it's one of them viewpoints where just it's just nice to slow down and just, just watch the weather roll in and out. Right, we get shooting. Right, we are going to make a hasty retreat because it is actually raining as we speak. Uh, we better go, mate. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Quick, let's go. Let's get <laughs> cracking. <laughs> So we're back at the car park and uh, let's just say we are wet. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> Adam's still alive, so uh, 
That's why Paul's happy. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do now. Um, there's still some light left of the day, so it'd be nice to get another shot. Um, especially for me, as I'm I'm home well, tomorrow morning. We're all home tomorrow morning, but I'm so far away. So it would be getting that, it would be nice to get another image. But I did get um, probably three or four different images at the top there, and I did shoot uh, a shot of some silver birches with some um, I think they call it all man's beard hanging off and I like the composition but it's so messy it's so hard to uh, compose an image like that so, but I will put it on the screen and I might even go back to, to the office and talk you through exactly why uh, I'm unsure about it um, so we might cut to that at some point in this video uh, if not um, we'll Hopefully, we'll tag a little bit more on. We'll do a bit more driving, and we find uh, we we'll find some more. So, hopefully, I'll see you see you in, see you in a minute, and we will get some more images. But if not, I'll see you in the office. See you in a bit. Bye. So, as you can tell by the end of that video, I was very wet. Um, it rained all the way back to Paul's van, um, but. It was a good trip, and I really did struggle at that um, Glen Affric viewpoint. Um, that tree was really, really distracting, and it was quite a sort of a short frame uh, view. It to, to view the view through it, uh, it was quite a tight area. That's what I'm getting at. It was a lovely viewpoint, but that tree it was sort of framed by some more trees here with a big Scotch pine in the middle, which stuck up quite high. So you couldn't shoot over the top of it, it was just left and right. Uh, but I did get a shot, um, I'll put it up on the screen now so you can have a look. Um, I, chose to sh I chose to edit it as a monochrome image, um, just because I felt like it enhanced, it felt like it suited the high contrast light we was getting. Um, and it is the only shot that I'm prepared to show you. Um, from that little excursion up the hill to the viewpoint. Uh, I did take several other shots, like I said, in the video, but this was the only one really that I felt like I wanted to edit at the time. Um, the other ones may grow on me and I may go back to them at some point, but yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about these shots. These shots were taken the day before and the kind of in between the two shoots, I didn't film them because it was so windy, uh, so wet, um, and it was just impossible to film, unless you was like Adam and Adam had the little Osmo. Um, I wasn't prepared to ruin the M50. Um, it's all about the shot, and that's kind of what I wanted to highlight. Um, sometimes when you're shooting videos, it, it is still about the image, and this, I'm glad I did because these are some of my favourite shots from the trip. Um, shooting these scotch pines just with the horizontal rain uh, and trying to freeze that rain, just the, the atmosphere. I'd had so much fun editing these images and um, I just wanted to show a little slideshow now uh, of some of my favourites of the trip. And I really hope you enjoyed this little two-part series. Uh, I've enjoyed editing, I enjoyed the trip up, I enjoyed Alan and Paul's company, uh, meeting Alistair Ben yeah, it was just it's just a great experience, and I've got big plans. Me, me and Paul have got big plans. What we want, what we're going to be doing in the future. So, uh, watch this space for Scotland trips, um, possible workshops. So yeah, very exciting stuff. So yeah, this is the office. That was my two-part series. I hope you enjoyed the slideshow, and uh, I will see you next week for another Photo Ninja vlog. Ciao. Enjoy your Sunday.